Hey YouTube, this is Central Oregon Survival Network coming at you again. Today, I want to do another video on do-it-yourself trip wires. Now, this one is going to be a tree mount. In a case of emergency, you can mount it in a house if you needed to. But it's a dual-line trip wire, and it utilizes the clothespin type circuitry. Now, if you see my other videos on the evolution of trip wires, I'd cover it and why I made it and how it actually operates. This of course is going to be a do-it-yourself on how to build it. I'm going to show the supplies that you need, the tools that you need, and how to build it. And here's the device that we're going to build. And if you see my other videos, I'll just kind of show you behind why I built it and how it works. But this video will be how to build it. All right, let's go ahead and jump right into it and I'll show you how to make it. We're going to start with our backboard, okay? Now what we're going to do is you're going to take your 8 inch bit, I've already pre-drilled these holes to kind of make the video go faster, but I'm going to tell you where you place them. You're going to place them on all four corners, and you're going to go right on the corners with an 8 inch bit, bit all the way around, and that's going to be for your 16 penny nails, okay, when we get to that part. And you want to make sure that it's in, in about a quarter inch uh, of the edge so that it doesn't, I'm sorry, a half inch within the edge so that the nails when you're pounding into the tree you don't hit anything else that's on your on your backer board. Okay, now we're going to take the siren, we're going to unscrew the base. Okay, once the base is unscrewed, you're going to take your base, you're going to place it to the left side here and you could do this placement if you want to put your your box in here and just kind of see where your siren's going to fit. Take your clothes pins, kind of see where they're going to go, and you can lay it out just like that. Now, once you have it laid out, what you're going to do is you're going to basically drill pilot holes for your screws because, as you know, using screws and, and plywood, it's okay. You're really not going to split it, but it's nice to drill some pilot holes so when you're using a manual. Phillips, it's a lot easier to do. Okay, so after you get everything laid out, you're going to mark your holes for your siren. Go ahead and pick that up. Now, on this electrical box, as you can see, I've already drilled two holes in the back. Now, you can do that with your 964 bit because it's going to be a little bit larger, but you want to use your 1 8. All the holes on your backer plate are going to be 1 8. So once you get your holes drilled for that, put it in place, open it up, take a pencil. Mark your holes, and they're already going to be on your plate, okay? Same. You know, you don't have to do that necessarily for your clothespins, because we're going to have to take those apart and drill those, which I'm going to show you how to, to actually make these into your trip, trip line device, okay? Okay, so once you're done with that, and you got all your, your holes marked out for your siren. Let's see where I'm at here. I know I drilled a couple already. There we go. Just had to flip it over. Okay, so I've already drilled mine out. I drill your holes in here, one eight, like I said. Drill them for your siren, and then drill them out for. Well, we can wait on our clothes pins. I already actually have mine drilled, just to make, like I said, the video go a little bit faster. Okay, so once you're done with that, you have all your holes drilled. You can set your base place to the side. We're going to go into making the clothespin device, okay? So basically you're just going to take this apart, take it all apart, okay? Take it apart. Now, to make sure and ensure your accuracy when you're drilling this, you can stick them together, and if you want to, you can actually leave them together. You can actually leave them assembled to do your first hole, okay? I'm just going to show you really quick. I have some pre-drilled ones, but basically you're going to drill down through, all the way through, so your holes match. Okay? And it's going to look like that when you take it apart. Okay? So those holes match up. You want those holes to match up because that's where your screws are going to go through. Okay? Okay, so you're going to take your screws, little guys, with your bolts. I'm sorry, with your with your nut. Shove them through. 
just go ahead and put your nut on there, but don't, don't put it all the way down. You're going to take one of your leads and just put it underneath that nut. Screw the nut down. Take your flat tip or whatever you decided. You can use a cross tip uh, screw if that's what you're, you're going with. One side is going to go flush down. Okay. The other side needs to turn out because of the way that it goes on your baseboard. Screw that down tight. It'll sink in just like that. Okay, do that to your other side, and it's going to come out just like this. Okay, so when they open up, they don't make contact, and when they come down, they make contact. Okay, nice and easy. Now, before you put them back together, you want one side, which is going to be your angle side, you want to drill a hole through to mount that to your board. Okay, because this stuff will break. You have to pre-drill all this and because if you don't you'll snap this in half it'll just piss you off okay I'm gonna go ahead and stop for a minute I'm gonna assemble the rest of my clothes pins and then we'll pick up on our base plate okay let's start with our assembly we're gonna start with our siren bracket we're gonna mount that to the backing plate Once that is mounted, we're going to take our electrical box, our electrical project box, and we're going to drill that 3 8 hole, which I've already done, on the bottom side before we mount it. Okay, once that's you got that drilled, we're going to find our holes, mount that up. mounted my screws are a little bit long okay so now we have our electrical box we got our siren okay now we're going to take before you assemble your clothes pins we're going to mount those up remember like I said drill a hole through that's your 964 we're going to mount that up Now be careful drilling those down, especially with power drill, if you're using a power drill, because you will break your clothespin in half, okay? I'm just being real careful with this, trying to do stuff in a timely manner. Okay, once I get them close, I go ahead and take my hand Phillips and just kind of give them a little tightening down, make sure they don't move around too much. Like I said, be careful, they will snap. Okay. Once you get to this point, what you're going to do is you're going to grab your clothespin spring and you're going to put those on. And it is kind of a pain at this point, but that's how you have to do it in order to, to get, get those on there. Bang. Alright. So that is your device. Okay. Alright, now, go ahead and mount your siren on. Okay, now we have our siren mounted. Everything that we need is mounted except for our 16 penny nails. Okay, now we're gonna go into the electrical. I'm gonna go ahead and wire it up and I'm gonna show you how it looks fully wired. Okay? Okay, now we're gonna go into wiring this device. Now it might be a little or sound a little confusing, but it's actually really easy. It's just completing the circuit. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to put your plastic pieces in here. And what I've also done is I've taken my 8th inch bit and I've drilled holes in that for the trip wire. That's where your trip wire comes off both sides. Now, you're going to run all your wires from your siren and your clothespins into your box. Now, you're going to take all of your red wires from your clothespins and your siren and you're going to hook those together inside your box okay then you're going to take 
your black lead wires coming off of your clothespins inside the box and you're going to hook those black wires, and this might be a little confusing, to your red lead off of your 9 volt. Okay? So, again, take your red wires off of your siren and your clothespins, hook them together inside the box, all of them together. I've kind of used just uh, some butt connectors here. Hook them all together, and then you're going to take all your two black leads and your red lead off the battery, hook that together, and then you're going to take the black off of your siren and hook it to the negative side of the battery. And that's it for your wiring, okay? Then, just test it to see if it works. Pull out a plastic piece. Bam! Works really good, okay? So that is your wiring. If you have any questions, I do, like I said, have some schematics on this that I can send out to you. Comment me, uh, private message me, and I can get those out to you. Okay, so what you're going to do is you put everything inside the box. Like I said, this is a, a rather big box. Put your cover on, but you get the idea. You're sealing the box. And then take your hot glue gun. And you're going to seal this entryway to make it a little more watertight. Okay, seal it up just like that. Bam. And don't put your finger in it because it's extremely freaking hot, like I just did. Okay, now you got it all sealed. Box is sealed. So now there's one, one more thing that we need to do on this. Okay, and let's put our 16 penny nails in. After I peel the hot glue off of my finger. Okay, put your nails in. Take a hammer and kind of pre-position those. Tap them in a little bit. Or just press them down. They'll actually fit right in there. An eighth inch hole. Okay. Now, that is your tree mount double trip wire device. Now with a little paint, of course, you're going to make it look like something like this. So if you have any questions or any comments about how to build this or if I went too fast in any part, just go ahead and comment me or private message me. Like I said, I can send you a wire schematic. It's not that hard, but I know that you know it's kind of hard to tell in a video. So if you have any questions, go ahead and shoot them to me. This is the tree mount double trip wire from Central Oregon Survival Network. Thank you for watching and please subscribe and thank you for all your support. Have a good day.